after you implement everything with Docker, you can you can open the photo Java photo generated and open Docker app component to see what uh, how Docker generated on course. As you can see, it also created home view model provider, graph view model provider, and add it into a map. Uh, with key is a class of a home view model and graph view model. It that uh, it just need the same way we do uh, with uh, with um, manual dependency injection. Do you see? And now we don't need um, this class anymore. So I will delete it. Delete all of it. And I don't. I also don't need uh, app container. So I will delete it. Let me check in. Oh, problem and make sure that we don't we don't import it and in rough problem okay so with Docker we reduce a lot of code uh, circles uh, that we need to write but there are a lot of steps that we need to follow uh, example when you, whenever you implement a screen you need to uh, um, <clears throat> create a function in app, app component to inject fragment then you need to um, tell Docker know about what view uh, model you want to inject and many things uh, for uh, interface or classes of um, third party right and one more thing is Docker in when you're using Docker in your project it is not easy to implement unit test and Google noted they created a new uh, library for dependency injection in Android and it called Hilt. So now we will see what is the Hilt and how it helps us to deal with this. The first thing we need to do is imp is import that uh, Hilt in our project and add some dependencies. The first thing we need to do is add a class path in build weather of project rules. I just copy and open build weather of rules project. Let me see build script and I put it in here. In dependency, I just copy it. And I open view great door of application and coding KIBT. I did this and brought in here, brought in. I will remove it. Sorry, I'm sorry. And then copy after implement it successfully we will remove the Docker, but now try to see our project. and try to review project again to make sure that everything work normally. Uh, yes. It, mm, no problem, it's just a, uh, Uneasy when we use Docker and uh, and Hilt together, we will fix it um, step by step. We just need to close it and 
we will start with uh, application, my application. So uh, with Dagger, we uh, we need to create app component and tell Dagger about uh, this component. But with here, we don't need to do it. We just need to list. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I need to delete a container from this variable, uh, these steps. So now we also don't need a component anymore. We just need with here, we just need add here Android application, Android app, Android app. That's it for application. And now for view model, example block view model. For block view model, when we work with Dagger, we need to uh, uh, tell Docker about view model in uh, view model module, but with you with huge, everything is more easier. We just need add to view model as it. And for for uh, interface um classes of third party is for network module. We we still use provide annotation, but we need to um because um when we use Docker, we import uh net network module in app component. But now we will don't we will do, uh, we will not use app component, so we need to tell Docker about our network module by using install in and. As you can see, uh, in here we, we use scope signature, and now I also use signature common. It means that I want um just have only one instance of network module for uh for our project, our application. And now we can delete our component. And I also don't turn it a uh, key or Vimro model module anymore. I just delete it. And okay, open home front one. Maybe you, you will see uh, some uh, warning errors, but uh, we will fix it now. For home front one, uh, when, we, when we work with Docker, we need to create a uh, a function inject and query it in our attach but with with here we don't need to do it we just need to add here android and try boy and we also don't need a vimodo factory we just remove it and remove on a type and for home view model we just need to call it by home view model uh view model and in, in the case is a case you cannot call in this, this method you should need open Google and call a uh, uh, membership uh, extension under I extension or extension and you search for view and you can see that it is an extension provided by fragment i just need copy it and add it in my project okay i try to see in and try to import it okay it worked right and now we do the same thing for block fragment as under and chai boy and remove
and I don't need on a track anymore because uh, Optima import okay that's it now I try to review Borosek it's okay right so uh, let me try to uh, run our application to check it uh, maybe it's have some issue right let me see okay um it is let me try try to run it again Hmm. After checking, I saw that I forgot to add a huge Vimodo annotation for huge Vimodo. So, uh, huge uh, cannot generate uh, circles for huge Vimodo. And after I add huge Vimodo annotation for huge Vimodo, uh, the app work normally. So, as you can see with uh, with hills, every is easier, right? Uh, I don't need a Vimodo factory anymore, so I will delete it. And everything I need, you need to do is uh, add hill Android app annotation for um, for application. Then for fragment, you should need to add Android and and boy and and get. Mm, view model by Chrome view model uh, extension and for view model we just need to add a uh, huge view model annotation and for for interface or classes of third party we can use provide maybe you can use byte and call install in to uh, tell you at our module in um, in G that's it and i hope that this video help you understand about dependency integration in analog and help you work well with uh huge